Okay guys, the balcony sessions are gonna go indoors because I'm just dying out here. Guys, uh, welcome back to the RopeDive.com vlog and another edition of the balcony sessions, which it's not the balcony sessions, it's the living room sessions, but if I was sat out there for any more than five minutes, I would turn into a lobster. It's Scottish skin. You can already see pretty red already. Anyway, so what I want to do with this is to say A, I'm sorry I was absent for so long, and B, explain where I was, and then C, if I get to it, I'm going to answer one little question. So, where I've been. This is the reason. And this is kind of a, like a weird story actually. I was in the park at a friend's birthday, everything was fine. I mean, it's the middle of summer, uh, we're next to the river, so I got like a tiny, tiny little mosquito bite on my wrist. I mean, even at the time, like, it did burn a little bit more than a normal mosquito bite. I, didn't, I just didn't think very much of it. A couple of days later, I, I got this, like, huge lump, like, coming up here. I was like, oh, okay, that's not so good. A little bit later on that afternoon, I started getting really, really feverish, and then I had, like, running, basically from the lump, you see that? Down along the forearm here. Uh... It was like a really, really like stark red line, and you couldn't you couldn't touch it. It was like really, really painful. Okay, didn't really think it was going to be that serious anyway. I went to the apotheca, so that's like the the chemist in German. And I mean, thank God this woman was really, really switched on. She took one look at it and was like, "Whoa, okay, you know, you're way past like a cream or anything we've got here. You've got a really bad infection. You need to get down to the doctors as soon as possible." Went down to the doctors, they basically said the same thing. You're like, okay, shit, that's like, that's getting to be a pretty serious infection. Uh, the red line that was running down here, that showed that the infection had gotten to my lymphatic system, which apparently is not good at all. That can go bad really, really fast. So I got on some very strong antibiotics for a few weeks, and yeah, in that time, I was just feeling just crap and feverish, and yeah, I must admit, the time just like, it skipped past and I didn't really feel like sitting in front of the camera. Anyway, I'm back now and uh, I'm actually really happy to be back as well because I really enjoyed this. Anyway, so that's the reason. I mean, this actually looks way, way worse now than it, than it actually is. Uh, it's, it's almost all gone. The only reason this is here is it's still pretty itchy and a little bit burning. So they've got this like cream that they put on and this is just wrapping around to make sure the cream like just stays where it should stay. Anyway, this is going to be gone in a few days as well, so thank god. Right, so that's, yeah, that's covered where I've been for the last couple of weeks. And, yeah, yeah, let's get to a question. Because this is kind of going to roll over to the next video that I want to do as well. Anyway, on the back of the, of the Denim Bam video, somebody, I think Stenchlord was his handle, which is kind of appropriate considering this question. He asked something along the lines of, I was wearing my jeans without soaking them for one year. After I soaked them, I don't, I don't, I think he just soaked them, he didn't actually wash them. After, after he soaked them, then they really started to get stinky really, really fast. And I found this as well. Um, when I, when I do my, my wash, when I wash the Benzax, I will be washing them pretty regularly after that, like once a month, maximum once every two months, because they do pick up much, much more smell when when you've washed them for the first time. This is just a guess, but I mean, it makes sense that the, the, the cotton fibers and the denim actually gets quite a lot of chemical crap put in it during the weaving process, during the dyeing process, and I think that this will act as like a barrier for the stink to actually really getting into the into the cotton. And obviously when you wash that off, the barrier is no longer there, so like the smell is really going to penetrate much more and your jeans are going to be much stinkier. Now when, this will be a nice, nice experiment actually, when I do wash my jeans, I'm going to apply the denim balm again, and so I'm going to put a link to the denim balm video somewhere like here or here. When I wash the jeans, I'm going to apply the denim balm again, 
and I'm going to see if that also creates a barrier. I did notice when I applied it for the first time, and that's even though the jeans were quite dirty, the sort of fresh, really nice smell, it didn't last that long, like three, four days or something, that I could still notice it. But the jeans didn't pick up nearly as much stink when I'm at a bar or just like hanging around or just in the hot weather as well. They didn't stink nearly as much as they did before this and I think that's because the denim balm is acting like this barrier, like the chemicals. But obviously, yeah, there's going to be much, much better for the denim than the chemicals were in the first place. So that'll be a nice little experiment and I'm going to keep you up to date on that. Okay, so I've probably talked along too much by now anyway, as I usually do. So the next video, that is going to be about how to wash your jeans, unless I manage to sandwich another balcony sessions in somewhere. That's going to be the next vlog. I hope you guys have been keeping up on what's going, going on on ropedye.com. Uh, that is something that we've been able to keep up with in the last couple of weeks, way more than the vlogging. There's a lot of good information going up there on new releases. There's actually some really interesting stuff coming out at the moment, so head over to ropedye.com for that. And it's also a brilliant resource if you've got any questions on denim, on leather, on accessories. We've been doing this for about five years and there's all that information from the five years right there just at your fingertips. So I really encourage you to go along and check that out. We've also got an Instagram account. Uh, that has also taken a little bit of a back seat with, with the illness and things. I'm sorry about that, but we're gonna be getting back on that as soon as possible. What else, what else, what else? There's Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah. Instagram's at Rope Dye. Twitter's also at Rope Dye. And obviously the website's www.ropetie.com. Any other way to get hold of us? If you want to get hold of us by email, it's just info at ropedye.com. Um, might be easier if you've got a question just to drop it in the comments below. There's some of you guys out there that seem to know more than me and are able to answer people's questions really, really well and really, really easily as well. So let's get the conversation started down on, on the comments. I think that's a much nicer way to do things and it's, an, it's a way to sort of build this community that I'm hoping that this channel is going to gonna kind of encourage. What else? Actually, I think that's everything for now. Yeah, anyway guys, I'm really happy to be back doing this. Um, I did miss doing it a lot, and hopefully there won't be so much of a hiatus and I won't be getting ill again. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, as always, and I'll see you in the next vlog.